Three evenings of hip hop, dance, and music coming to San Francisco's Yerba Buena Center for the Arts. It's called Classic Hip Hop, and it's classic with a K. And two of the artists performing are here this morning to tell us about this amazing show, Miss Faye Carroll and Maclete Hadero. Welcome to the broadcast. Thank you. Thank Thanks you for, for joining us. us here this morning. So tell us about this show. There are two parts of it. Yes. Uh, the Miseducation of Lauren Hill. Let's talk about that one first. So Classic Hip Hop is happening February 16th, 17th, and 18th at YBCA. And it is two shows. The first is Amy O'Neill's Opposing Forces, and that begins the night. And then the second show is a tribute to the miseducation of Lauren Hill, and that's presented both by YBCA and Classic Hip Hop, as well as by Undercover Presents. And 15 Bay Area bands are interpreting this record, so one band per song, really making this music our own as a musical community. Tell me, Faye, what, what can we expect when, when you go there and, to, and when you see the show? Well, with uh, 15 bands, you're going to see a wide array of interpretations of her music. So everybody's going to be able to do their own spin mm -hmm. on whatever song they have. So people can come expecting to see different size bands, different array of uh, creativity that's based on uh, the miseducation of Lauren Hill. And McClee, we're taking a look at some of the video of some of the performers uh, for the miseducation of Lauren Hill. Why did you choose this album? Because you had a choice. Yes. Uh, she's a fascinating songwriter and performer, but why her? So. Uh, Undercover Presents takes classic albums and reinterprets them. This is actually the 14th album that Undercover has presented. And when Liz Luke, who's the executive director, came to me and said, well, which album would you do if you were the musical director? I just literally could not think of another record. Mm. Because for me, this was an album, not only that is like a mission statement album, this was a mission statement for Miss Hill, but it also galvanized a generation it was a moment where hip hop was breaking through. People found this album when they were going through transitions mm -hmm, in their life mm -hmm. and all the songs mean something special to people. At the same time, I thought that this was a record that was still relevant to the younger generation. Mm -hmm. And when I talk to musicians who are 15, 16, when I talk to musicians who are 70, 80, when I talk to musicians who are 30, 35, they all were touched by this record and all have something uh, something that means something to them inside of the music of this record. So I thought this was uh, an album that could really bring people together from all walks of life and have it be something that was meaningful to today as well. And Faye, how did you connect to this album when it first came out? I, I remember it as well, but how did you connect to it? Well, it's just like McLeet said, it's so timeless, the album is. And I'm a person who likes a wide array of music. And I was struck by the talent of Lauren Hill because uh, one of the things it seems like she did is bridge the gap between R&B and hip hop. Mm -hmm. And for me, I like for all of the gaps to be bridged. Mm -hmm. I like to come from the 20s, from Louis Armstrong, clean on up to Sly Stone, James Brown, Michael Jackson, and of course, Lauryn Hill. So my being able to be a part of it, I think I'm the OG of the joint. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I like the, the feeling of not being polarized. Yes. So people can come together of all ages, all backgrounds, and, all, uh, and of all kinds. And for me, myself personally, it's such an honor and a privilege because uh, it allows me to be with a, a cross-section of people, mm -hmm. young and old. McClee, tell us a little bit about some of the performers that we'll see. Um, how did you select them? What were you looking for when you were choosing? So when I was selecting the different ensembles that would participate, I was looking for people who had a passion for this music, but I was also looking for the impact that hip hop had in the world. So in this show, you're gonna hear everything from a Latin jazz Cuban interpretation of a Lauryn Hill song to a 14 piece Balkan brass band mixed with an MC. And, and I don't, what are we looking at here? This is Amy O'Neill's Opposing Forces. Now, classic hip hop as a whole uh, is thinking about not just questions of 
hip hop, but it's also thinking about um, questions of femininity in hip hop, about how um, women's storytelling voices uh, are present in hip hop, how we express that. Amy O'Neill is a choreographer who really thinks about those questions in her work. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously Lauren Hill was thinking about those questions in her work about the power of women's storytellers and women's voices and um, also thinking about the ways that um, hip hop is not just music, it's also dance mm -hmm. and graph. It has multiple aspects and elements to it. It's a really three dimensional, 360 degree kind of art form. And some of the dancing that we just saw there, how would you describe it? I mean, that's b-boy, that, that's, that's b-boy, breakbeat, that's, it's, um... Bra is it break dancing or no? Yeah. Break? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's break dancing. Um, and Amy O'Neill is somebody who's actually based in Seattle, but this piece itself was um, commissioned by Yerba Bueno Center for the Arts. So this is a homecoming for this piece as well. I, this might, this might uh, surprise you, but, or might not be the best question, but Lauren Hill, does she is she aware of of this and have you been in contact with her? Oh yeah, we reached out to her um, management at the very very beginning of this process. For me as the musical director, it was very important that she knew that this was going on, and I wrote a very heartfelt letter. Um, and we invited her to come and perform. I've uh, uh, we haven't heard back, right? But um, we did reach out to her and we wanted to make sure that she knew about this. It looks fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us here this morning. Thanks we appreciate for it. Us. And uh, we want to thank them for uh, coming here on this show. We want to thank you for watching. Don't miss Classic Hip Hop, February 16th, 17th, and 18th at the Yerba Buena Center for the Arts. For tickets, you could visit ybca.org. And that is it for this week. Be sure to visit our website, cbssf.com slash base Sunday, and our Facebook page where you can pitch your story ideas and give us a like while you're there. Thank you so much.